Number three, if a reaction is reversible, what can it be said to have reached equilibrium? Okie dokie. So, past couple of chap, uh, past couple of chapters, past couple of questions, we talked about what a reversible reaction is and how to distinguish it. It's this uh, little arrow right here, right? A reversible reaction means that as the forward reaction is happening, so maybe I'll say that this is forward, right? As N2O4 is turning into two NO2s, the reverse reaction is happening as well, in which two NO2s is now getting converted back to N2O4. So you have two basically reactions going on. You have the forward one, and then you have the backward one, right? All right. But now how do we know when it reaches equilibrium? Well, good, uh, good question. Basically, when something equals equilibrium or when a, when a uh, reaction reaches equilibrium, the forward reaction has to basically equal, I mean, equilibrium, right? The word equi is in front and usually like equi or equal has to mean the same, same something. So the forward reaction has to equal the reverse reaction in some way. And Rxn is re reaction, right? So Rxn. But now what is equal from the forward reaction to the reverse reaction? Is it the concentrations? Is it the rate constants? Is it the rate? When you reach equilibrium, basically, the reaction is not really going anywhere. That means that the rate, how fast the forward reaction is, you know, going from N2O4 to 2NOs, and the rate of the reverse reaction, 2NO2s going back to N2O, the rate, how fast the reactions are happening is the same. If the forward reaction is moving at a speed of, you know, two molarity per second, and the reverse reaction is happening at the same speed or the same rate, right, two molarity per second, you're not going to get anywhere. They're equal. That's equilibrium. So this is at equilibrium. You could think about it in terms of like tug of war, right? If I, if I maybe say that I have, let's see, here comes my lovely drawing skills. So here we go. I have the one molecule of N2O4. I see that there's a one in front of here. So I'm just going to draw the one molecule as in a red dot. And then I have two molecules, right? of the N2O, and here they're, they're tugging, right? I have this, and it's like a chain, right? And let's just say that, you know, here is the X, right? And here's the tug of war. Basically, the red is trying to pull this way, and the blues are trying to pull this way, but if nothing is happening and the, the middle part is staying exactly the same, they're at equilibrium. They're not going anywhere. The rate in which this is being pulled is the same as this is being pulled, and that's equilibrium. So think about it in a tug of war. I hope, I hope that analogy kind of makes sense. But the overall answer is because of the rate. So if a reaction is reversible, what can be said to have reached equilibrium? The rate, right? When can it when can it be said to have reached equilibrium? When the rate of the forward reaction equals the rate of the reverse reaction. And there you go. All right. So hopefully that helps. Let me know in the comments. Give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. And I will see you in future videos. All right. Have an awesome day. Bye-bye.